we were just walking this trail. I was shooting a black-throated gray warbler, which uh, was fantastic. And then all of a sudden we heard the trogon call. And then it popped its head out of a thingy and I filmed it and then I shot it in the face. And I just don't think I could be happier. Morning. <laughs> Welcome to a stupid o'clock episode. I think my alarm was set for like six something and it's five something. I'm not going back to sleep. So we are in the Chiricahuas. We're somewhere near Portal, Arizona in the mountains. And I am here looking for an elegant Trogon. Also, I'm in my car. So if you've ever wondered what a six foot one man looks like inside of a tiny Subaru Crosstrek, this is it. <laughs> All right, let me get up, get some breakfast, and I'll show you guys what's up around here. And hopefully we'll find some cool rare birds. back to camp for some tea to finish off the tea didn't find the trogon in this little creek so we're gonna head up to the campsite now but my god it is gorgeous out here right right there in that that tree right there uh, just a second ago giant hummingbird not the kind of hummingbirds I'm used to seeing even just an hour and a half away I'm going with Rivoli's hummingbird. It was big, it was dark, had some blue, it was low, made a real sound when it was flying. Not, not like the black gins and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got a couple shots. It's still really dark in here. So 500 millimeters, F1, like wide open, one one sixtieth of a second. Luckily he was sitting on a branch, so. It came out decent. It's a good way to start the morning, I think. So, hear that? It sounds fly catchers right above me. Oh, he's in the light too. Oh, there's so much brush and just denseness down here. It's, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So we're at the main trailhead for the Trogons. What's this trailhead called? Uh, South Fork. South Fork. Somewhere in Chiricahuas. <laughs> it's a pretty established birding area. Snacks. We're going to be going a little bit. So we're kind of going up into this canyon. I don't know if I want to bring my 800 or not. That's what I'm debating. It's getting really bright, but there's just too much, sorry, there's too much like shrubbery and and stuff like that and like dense trees and dappled light. And I just feel like the 800 would, not to mention like a lot of things that I've been seeing this morning have been closer than 20 feet, which is, you know, fantastic for birding, but doesn't always happen. Um, so the 800 having 20, 20 foot minimum focusing distance. It's kind of no bueno for me. So I think in order to lighten the pack, lighten the load 
and to uh, get the best shot. So I'm gonna stick with the one to 500 right now. I think I'm also gonna switch my vlogging camera from the, well, I've got the R6, but I've got the 16 to 35 and it's heavy. So I'm gonna put the 16 2.8 on there, which is much lighter. It doesn't have some of the bells and whistles, but uh, I need to save all the weight I can. I can't believe I just got a really awesome new bag from Peak Design for like hiking, like smaller stuff, but uh, I'm gonna have to take my Shimoda because I need water and other stuff. All right, enough talking. Let's hit the trails and see what's up. Almost forgot water. Highly important. Also, these insulated uh, gallon jugs. They're the best investment ever. I mean, I have the fridge now too, but this thing, leave it, leave it sitting in your car days in the 100 degree plus heat and it's still cold. Trogons, they like those white sycamore trees, apparently. So we're gonna keep an eye out for the sycamores, but also Arizona woodpecker would be a lifer for me. They're pretty cool. They're kind of celebrity status. There's one right in there. Okay, time to shut up and bird. <laughs> Success. We were just walking this trail. I was shooting a black throated gray warbler, which uh, was fantastic. And then all of a sudden we heard the trogon call. And then it popped its head out of a thingy and I filmed it and then I shot it in the face. And I just don't think I could be happier. I could be happier if my arms were a little bit bigger and a little bit better shape. <laughs> but in terms of birding, oh, we saw a Kuwaiti 
That was fantastic. Got the Kuwaiti. Sorry, it's really lighting is horrible out here. This is like seriously hard area to bird in in terms of getting good photography, good backgrounds and all of that. It's really important to, for me especially, to keep in mind not to get frustrated with, you know, less than perfect or good at all backgrounds. You know, it's just so cool being able to see these rare birds, R rare for me, you know, like it's just, that's why I'm out here. All right, we're gonna keep going, see what else we can get, but oh, we got the dusky capped fly catchers. I got a lot of those. Those are pretty cool. So much stuff today. All right, let's keep going and see what we get because it's, uh, it's getting close to lunchtime. I'm hungry. Okay, made it back to camp. Got lunch going here. Doing some grilled ham club sandwiches. We got all the goods. It's getting windy. Keep that blowing away. We got solar panels. I don't know if you can see that over there. And solar panels. Charging the fridge and the camera batteries. All the goodness. We, I can't even begin to just all of the highlights. I came in Columbia's Vireo in the nest. That was amazing. I didn't stay there too long because I don't want to hang around nesting birds. You know, it's not not cool. Um, Trogon, of course, already mentioned that it was amazing. The Kuwaiti was amazing. Got a bunch of stuff we didn't get great pictures of. I got the Scots Oriole was really cool. Um, painted Red Start. I, I mean, I have those in silver where I live, but. Uh, So many good things, and it's just incredible. A lot of deer. Um, so, all right, this is. I'm gonna pay attention to my sandwich. We're gonna eat real quick, and then uh, I think we're gonna go look for some other kind of snakes, and then go up to the top of the mountain and see different different wildlife. All right, gotta go. Sandwich burning.
All right, well, it's a little windy up here. We made it to the top of some mountain, some random mountain up here. A lot of good birds on the way, a lot of good warblers, Townsend's warblers, a lot of good stuff. So much, I just can't even keep track of all of the amazing stuff. But we drove up the side of this mountain, this dirt road, and there's like this, yeah, there's like a campsite, campground up here. I would love to uh, do some astro, maybe like up there. So I might come back and do some astro. I think I'm gonna wrap it up though, that's day one. I've got another day out here, so I may or may not vlog that. I don't wanna make any promises, but I'm really hoping to. I just, I can't believe the amount of stuff that's out here. It's just absolutely mind blowing. And the landscape potential out here too is just incredible. So I'm thinking about doing some more landscape specific trips out here and I'll vlog those separately. I'll throw a few landscape shots that I took just, um, just messing around all scouting nothing serious but uh, it just it, there's a lot of potential out here for landscapes and even more for wildlife so I'm gonna keep keep looking for wildlife uh, we're gonna drive back down and then I'm gonna go make dinner and start day two so yeah I'm gonna end it here if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button for me if you're still here I super appreciate it because uh, that's amazing that you give me your time and uh, I appreciate it all right, it's tea time, snack time. I gotta drive down a mountain time. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.